Welcome back to Mr. Ace Math. Today we're covering three-dimensional solids. Now we're not going to talk about every three-dimensional solid, for example, uh, cones, cylinders, spheres. We're basically covering only prisms and pyramids. Some basic stuff you should know is uh, what area is, as well as the different kinds of polygons, most particularly triangles, squares, and rectangles. So make sure you understand those and let's get started. Prisms. Well, what exactly is a prism? A prism is basically like a cylinder, but it has shapes at the ends. Whereas you have a soda can that uh, is long with two circles at the ends, this has different shapes. It has two congruent bases, which are the ends. For the soda can, it would be the two circles at the ends. And here it's just the shapes. And it's named by the base. So for example, here we have a prism. Well, how do we name that prism? Well, here we have two rectangles, a rectangle at this base and a rectangle at this base. So that's going to help us name this prism. And it's called a rectangular prism because there are rectangles at the bases. You should also know that it has rectangular shaped faces. The faces are the sides around the prism. The bases are the ends, the rectangle that was here and the rectangle that was here. But the faces are the uh, sides around the prism. So it's basically the left side, the top is a face, the right side is a face, and the bottom is a face. Those are all faces, and there's four faces. And it's really easy to tell how many faces a prism is going to have because all you have to do is look at the base. If the base is a four-sided shape, in this case it's a rectangle, our base is uh, one, two, three, four sides, it's a rectangle, then it's going to have four faces around. Here, well, think about this. How would we name this shape? Remember that we name it by the base. And since the base here is a pentagon, one, two, three, four, five sides, that's a pentagon, we call this a pentagonal prism because the base is a pentagon. And remember, it's easy to tell how many faces a prism has because of the number of sides the base has. Since this base here has one, two, three, four, five sides, we're going to have five faces. This here, what would you call this one? Think about it. We name it by the base. What shape is the base? It's a triangle. Since it's a triangle, we call this a triangular prism. And because a triangle has three sides, we have to make sure that we know, one, two, three, that there are going to be three rectangular shaped faces. This side over here, that's one face. This side over here, around there, that's two. And then the bottom rectangular face there, that would make three faces. Okay, so this one would be called what? This would be called a hexagonal prism because it has a hexagon for the base. Hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. And because it has six sides, it's a hexagonal prism. Well, how many faces are there? Since the base has six sides, this is going to have six rectangular faces. And when the number of sides increases around the prism, each of the rectangles gets smaller. Whereas prisms are like cylinders, pyramids are very similar to cones, but the only difference is that they don't have a circle at the bottom, they have a shape at the bottom, and they only have one base. Same thing as with the, uh, with the prism, it's named by the base, and it has triangular shaped faces. Remember that when we spoke about prisms, prisms had rectangular shaped faces, but pyramids have triangular shaped faces, that's what makes them very different, and face the same definition. So here we have a triangular shaped base. So since we have a triangular shaped base, we would call this a triangular pyramid. Since that's a triangular pyramid, well, how many faces does it have? The same exact way that we would say the number of faces for a prism is the same exact way we say the number of faces for a pyramid. The only thing that's different between the two of their faces is that prisms had rectangular shaped faces, but pyramids have triangular shaped faces but they're still the same number. So since we have one, two, three sides in the base, that means we're gonna have three triangular shaped faces. One over here, that triangle there, one over here, that triangle there, and then the, uh, the big front triangle. Okay, so what would you name this pyramid? Think about it. Remember, we always name the pyramid by the base. Since we have our base here, we would name it based around the base. Now, the issue with this one is, unlike most questions, this looks like it's actually a rectangular base, but 
it's a square base. It just has to do with the angle, the way you see it from front to back. It looks like it's stretched out, but it's actually a square for a square pyramid. And like we said before, how are we going to determine the number of faces that the pyramid has? Well, same exact thing as with the prisms and with the other pyramid example from before. We have one, two, three, four sides in the base. Since we have four sides for the base, we're going to have four faces. But remember, because it's a pyramid and not a prism, the faces are going to be shaped as triangles and not as rectangles. That's an incredibly important point. Okay, how about this one? It all depends on the shape of the base. Well, what shape is our base? If we look at the base, we can see that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. Since it has eight sides, that's an octagon, we would call this an octagonal pyramid. And because, like we said before, the base tells us how many faces the pyramid has, it has eight faces. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a three, two, one countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. Okay, like we said before, when it comes to naming prisms and pyramids, we simply just have to look at the base. Now, if you look at this base, this base has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Since it has six sides, this is a hexagonal prism. It's a prism because we see two bases that are exactly the same shape. One base over here and the same exact base over here. Number two, we should be able to tell right away that it's not a prism, that it's a pyramid. Well, why is it a pyramid? It's a pyramid because it only has one base. And because it's a pyramid, now that we know what the base is, we can say exactly what kind of pyramid it is. Since the pyramid has eight sides in the base, it's a an octagonal pyramid. Number three, you should be able to tell right away that it's a prism because it has two congruent uh, bases. Since you have two congruent bases, it's automatically a prism. Now, what kind of prism is it? It's a rectangular prism because the bases are rectangular shaped. And the fourth one, number four, we can tell right away it only has one base because it has one base, it's a pyramid. And since it's a pyramid, we can tell right away by looking at the base what kind of pyramid it is. Since the pyramid's base only has three sides, it is a triangular pyramid. Okay, a reflection. A 3D solid that has two bases at each end is called a prism. On all 3D solids, the sides around the 3D solid are called faces. The faces of a prism are rectangular in shape. The faces of a pyramid are triangular in shape. Both pyramids and prisms are named by looking at the what? The base, the shape of the base. And to determine the number of faces, you can look at the base. Again, by looking at the base, you should be able to tell right away how many faces the prism or pyramid has. If the pyramid or prism has a base that has three sides, if it's a triangle, then you should be able to tell that the number of faces that the pyramid or prism will have is three sides. If the base is an octagon, well, an octagon has eight sides, therefore that, uh, that prism or pyramid would have eight faces. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.